Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial here at Rachel Productions. I've moved over to Blender 2.69, the latest release, and we are still going to be working on cycles. Today we're going to be looking up at the sky and making some clouds. I've had my head up in the clouds literally for a few weeks. And this tutorial will help you to make some clouds hopefully that uh, you can use in the background. They may not necessarily be photorealistic but uh, generally when you have an animation and uh, you have static clouds in the background it often looks like a photo which it probably is uh, but um, it's better if your clouds are slightly animated particularly if there's a windy scene uh, where the clouds are moving past or there's a storm approaching etc so uh, this uh, tutorial attempts to create clouds quickly that can be animated as well um, I do not claim to be giving you the be all and end all of uh, Oscar winning clouds. <laughs> Alright, um, I will probably be improving on this method maybe. Uh, there are other ways to do it um, which can be improved on. Uh, but let's just give this a shot. Alright, I'm going to get rid of this lamp here. And uh, by the way, um, Blender 2.69 hasn't changed too much. Uh, you'll notice there that the render layers are on another la uh, section there on the properties panel there um, separate to your render settings now the other thing unfortunately is that the screencast uh, display is not here anymore screencast keys so unfortunately I will not be able to have that on for you and in any case I had decided to leave it out because my um, uh, PC kept crashing, Blender kept crashing because of the render high resolution here which we'll be using later so let's leave out screencast keys, I will try to remember to tell you what I'm pressing <laughs> um, and while we're talking about that let's just go to user preferences here under input uh, you'll notice that normally by default the right mouse button is, is selected as default for selecting objects. I'm going to change that to the left mouse since this is the default with most software applications today. So let's click with our left mouse on the cube. We're going to delete that and I'm going to go also sorry to display here and getting rid of the grid floor. I'm not too happy with having that. There's no need for it. Um, and I'm also going to now move my cursor pressing shift S to bring up the menu cursor to center I'm going to add a mesh plane in the center there and to bring my camera to the top where I am looking now I'm going to press Control alt and 0 one of my favorite shortcuts okay uh, what I'm also going to do is bring the camera to 44 on the z-axis so it's a little higher up and I'm going to I'm going to set the focal length now to 24 our plane is there and um, you're asking now what are we going to be doing with this plane well this plane is actually all the clouds this is the object that we're going to be using believe it or not to create all the clouds okay uh, and you're going to ask how is that possible well we are going into the modifier in our properties panel here and we're going to shop for something that's going to modify that plane and since clouds are water, water vapor and waves are water as well why not use the ocean simulator you guessed it right now the ocean simulator creates a plane that is modified with ridges obviously crests and troughs as a wave would have and um, we are going to make some settings we are going to make some changes now to those uh, to this plane also let's just go into render view over here and I'm going to set in my render properties I'm going to set um, the border under dimensions to render only in the camera view that will slow the uh, will speed up the processing for the PC 
um, later on it's going to be heavy processing when it comes to high resolution for my PC anyway you may have a better one alright I'm going to go now uh, and give this uh, uh, world a setting which would be the sky okay this is the, this is going to be the clouds so obviously the sky is going to be behind and uh, we'll give it a sky which is usually blue okay hopefully hopefully that is blue <laughs> sometimes I'm a little colorblind in that department okay I think most guys are slightly <laughs> uh, right now the material all we are seeing now is blue now uh, this this wave plane has no material let's give it material what are we going to give it well I want it to be transparent so you guessed it glass is the material we're going to use and I'm going to leave the index of refraction IOR that's what it stands for that is how how much the material bends light diffracts it or refracts it sorry and um, that's going to be left at 1.45 for now um, and again we're still looking right through it okay what I'm going to do here is for now set this up uh, to a brighter white and you'll notice what that does okay it, it allows more light through obviously um, and we'll fiddle around with that just to explain to you what how that's going to work but um, basically what we want to do is is let the light scan across here and just catch the crests of these waves that is what's going to cause our uh, cloud formations okay basically <clears throat> that's what's happening in in the in the sky with the clouds the water droplets are catching light as it uh, as the light uh, passes by and that's why we actually you know see the the clouds basically um, I'm going to make some settings now so let's just rotate the plane here and I'm going to be working on the settings uh, that I've used in this project before so let's just do that going to set this uh, depth here to 1 the time I'll leave for now random seed I'm going to set that to 1 uh, resolution we're not going to put that high because it's going to slow the PC down for now and uh, size I'm going to leave at 1 spatial size however I'm going to put at 102 that's going to make it larger now the important settings are these as well I'm going to put the choppiness to 0 the scale to 5 and you'll immediately see there what happens and the smallest wave 0.1 and 10 you're going to be fiddling with these all the time to get just the right uh, uh, type of cloud you want so be, be uh, uh, expecting to fiddle with that for some time till you get uh, the gist of it um, okay now we're still only seeing through into the sky there um, we haven't got any illumination so let's do that going into top view I'm going to press 7 I'm going to press A to deselect everything then I'm going to press shift A and I'm going to select another plane to add there and um, I'm going to select on the plane of the, the large plane wave here I'm going to hide that pressing H okay just for now and then this plane I can see better I'm going to scale along X I'm going to rotate it around the X axis by pressing R and X and then 90 for the angle okay now I'm going to press alt H to bring my plane back into view and um, basically this plane here the small plane here is a little smaller than it sh should be scale that up again whoops okay let's just hide this plane again let's scale this plane a bit scale it along the y-axis sorry scale it along the z-axis there we go all right and alt h to bring our plane back right there now you can see what's going on all right i'm going to go into camera view move the plane up by pressing grab, oops, we've, we've selected everything there. Grab the plane, 
then you just put it up at the top there and this is going to be our light source so let's do that let's add an emission shader and uh, because we want this light to travel quite far across here quite a distance I'm going to ramp this up all the way to 1000 seems a bit hectic but as you can see even with a thousand it's only just catching those crests there very slightly um, near the light okay not even traveling across how are we going to get it to travel further across there all right that's where the uh, material settings are important here I left the roughness at zero so basically this is uh, smooth glass and if we create some roughness there it's going to catch some more light and there you have it people a first time view of Rachel Productions clouds hmm. doesn't look that great yet but it's a start okay if you had to sit there and uh, try and model something like this and also animate it uh, you'd have a long long process ahead of you okay so I'm just hoping that this will uh, benefit you in some way I generally just leave it up there at, at, at the maximum white and um, the setting that's going to make changes is your roughness here okay so if I bring this down let's say to there okay you have uh, less light being uh, caught on those contours there and go down a little bit more and so on all right so i'm just going to leave it actually at 0.324 whatever number and um, if we go into another setting under our render properties um, and we go to a setting that is not often used you probably wondered what is it for the sampling setting here under clamp we're going to clamp the sampling okay so we're going to tell it this is the maximum don't go further and let's just give it 0.98 and immediately your clouds are looking a little bit more um, you know thinner immediately your clouds are looking better not as thick uh, you may want them to be thick uh, you could set it at uh, 2 uh, you could go to 3 uh, 5 and so on uh, each time you change these settings you may need to change some other settings elsewhere just to balance it off and uh, something I just need to emphasize here uh, don't get uh, uh, frustrated if your clouds are not looking the same every single time you do this it's going to look slightly different and you're going to have to make some adjustments here and there to create the desired effect um, but um, let's go into some more settings here You'll notice um, over here, the random seed, if I just click across here, I can change the formation of the clouds randomly. Okay. Um, just clicking through there gives you some sort of uh, changes uh, which you can select. Now, another setting that's also quite important is the scale. If I go here and I press 2, okay, and 1, okay this clouds start becoming more uh, how can I put it spread out and single singular <laughs> um, because obviously the the plane is more uh, flat so we don't have as many separate broken up clouds and um, if we bring that say to something like 10 then then we're going to get this kind of effect Okay, the setting which will give you a dramatic change now is this setting here, the resolution. I'm going to put it at 20 and hopefully my PC won't crash. Take some time. Okay, and now you're getting um, some good uh, clouds there. Alright. If I had to move this whole plane across, obviously my clouds would also move, but the amazing thing or the, the good thing is that they don't just move across obviously they change as well they dissipate and collect together and reform etc depending on how they catch that light there um, 
this also has the effect of a satellite picture uh, you know from above and uh, so on um, sometimes your clouds will want a glow to them as in the sunset and that's fairly easy to achieve just by adding a bit of yellow uh, let's just whew. okay um, alright so you can give it a bit of a yellowish color you might want a combination as well so then you can just simply um, duplicate that pressing shift D bring it down to about there let's say and um, then you could also just uh, give that a different material by pressing on the 2 there and um, making this color white and then bringing the color down to gray and rotating this around Z for instance make sure it's out of camera view okay right um, I've just also rendered this uh, you can get an idea of some subtlety there you know some very subtle clouds in the distance there and a, more of a clear sky below if you had to put a city here in the front skyline for instance you'd have a very sort of subtle cloudy sky there and that I did by ramping up the light all the way to 5000 and going to the let's just skip that going to the settings here um, I'll set the resolution all the way up to 25 um, scale still 5 but the smallest wave I, I changed that to 0.3 um, so you know you, you just have to experiment and I'd like to see the clouds that you come up with um, I'm going to put an animation on now where you will be able to see some of the uh, cloud formations there uh, it needs practice it needs some work but it was just a quick um, render a few hundred samples um, just to give you an idea of what's possible and um, I think that's about it I don't want to ramble on too long um, with this tutorial it's uh, just more of an experimental uh, phase and um, with a bit of uh, compositing and other things we can probably do better alright guys and uh, let me know what you think of this tutorial if you have any ideas suggestions comments and uh, you can uh, subscribe and share these tutorials as always thank you